everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be making a cat toy and we're gonna be doing that with our knitting loom. We're gonna do that in just a moment. Creations one today we are going to be making a cat toy you are gonna need your flower knitting loom that is a two four six eight ten twelve peg loom you're gonna need some scrap yarn your knitting tool scissors a darning needle you'll also need some scrap material and your catnip okay so let's get started we are gonna start by taking our yarn. Now this is um, four ply worsted weight, so a medium weight yarn. You could even go a bulky yarn. It's just whatever you prefer, okay? We're gonna attach that to our starting peg. If you don't have a starting peg, you can start with a slip knot. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our, scat, our gather cast on. So we're gonna go behind this peg in front of that one behind in front all the way around okay so like a zigzag okay until you get back to that starting peg then we're going to do an e-wrap around the first peg and we're going to start doing our u stitches okay our u wraps so you take your yarn you put it at the back like this and then you're going to take that yarn and put it over top now this peg has nothing on it, so we're just gonna lay the yarn across it and go to the next peg, okay? Now with this peg, we're gonna just do a knit and we're gonna continue that for this row and this round, and this is round one, okay? So we're just gonna do this all the way back around to your starting peg. If you don't have the little nubby here that lets you know you're back at the beginning, then put a stitch marker on that peg so that you know that's how many rounds you've done. Now this cat toy is going to be a ball and we're just going to do 10 U-wrap knitting rows. So we just finished one. This will be two and the way I do it is I just say two for every stitch around two and then next round it'll say three until I'm done my 10th round. So go ahead and do 10 rounds. If you have a row counter, you can use that. You can use pencil and paper, or you can do like I said, and just say the number in your head for each peg for each row. So I'm just saying that all of these pegs are number twos. And the next round, they'll all be number threes. So do that for 10 rows. We're now starting on our third row. And meet me back. Okay, so I've done my 10 rows. It doesn't look like very much, but I have done my 10 rows. At around row five, I took my yarn off the knob. So now what I want you to do is I want you to take the working yarn and just go around the flower loom once. That's just to make sure you have enough to sew in. Now you're gonna grab your darning needle. And here's what we're gonna do. Now these looms come with, with needles. You don't have to use a yarn needle like I'm using. I just do a lot of things where I'm sewing my yarn in. So, so you're going to go through the loop and then you're going to pop it off. Then you're going to go through the loop and pop it off. Through the loop, pop it off. Through the loop, pop it off. You're gonna do this. Oops, didn't do that one properly. I went through. Well, it's good to make mistakes on camera and I know a lot of people take them out, but 
I want you to see what you do if you do a mistake like I did. So I went through the yarn instead of through the loop. So I'm taking it out and now I'm making sure I go through the whole loop. There you go. Hope you saw what I did there. Okay, so go through the whole loop and pop it off. Whole loop, pop it off. Whole loop, pop it off. We're almost done. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so we're popping it off. Now what we're going to do is this is what we have. We're just going to shimmy all the stitches over and we're going to pull this until it cinches up. See how it's cinched up there? Now what we're going to do is we're going to go through that middle and we're going to turn our work inside out. And I'm going to show you how I not enclose this. So I'm going to go through a couple of I'm just going through the back side. I'm not going through the front. So you can't see my needle. So I'm going through there. Pull tight. And then I go back where I st just a little bit before where I'm coming out. And then I go again. Now to prevent this from undoing, I'm just going to go through two loops now. Make a loop. I'm going to go through the loop once, I'm going to go through the loop twice, and I'm going to pull that tight. And that makes a knot. See, I made a knot. And now I'm just going to keep going through loops around in the circle and hide my yarn. Okay. So then I'm going to give this a snip. You can leave it in if you want but I'm gonna give it a snip. And now I'm gonna go grab my kitty lit or kitty litter, no, kitty um, catnip and my material and I'll be back for the next step. Okay, for the next step, I am using some catnip. My cats got into it. <laughs> and I'm using a piece of scrap fabric. Now this, I measured it out, it's seven inches by four inches if you want exact dimensions. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a teaspoon of catnip, not even a full teaspoon, and put it in the middle of my material, okay? Then I'm gonna fold my material like so. And then I'm just going to tie it in a knot. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to take this and put it into the ball that I've just created. Then I'm going to take, this is where our gather came in, our gather cast on. I'm going to take our gather cast on, pull it tight, and now... Just gonna sew in my my thread. So come in this way. We're gonna go in a few times this way, and I always go back and then go forward, and then go back a little bit and go forward. We're going to want to do a little knot. Go through that loop twice. Pull tight. Now you never cut where you're not. So I'm just going to go through here and pull it out somewhere else. Give it a snip. Make that go away. Just pull and, and there you go, guys. 
there is your cute catnip ball for your your wonderful little kitty check the description i'm going to put all kinds of links in there to uh yeah to different tutorials for cat toys and and things like that so there you go guys thanks so much for watching don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and you know what to keep these nice and fresh smelling what i do is i make a whole bunch at once like with my scrap yarn and i put them in a ziploc bag or some kind of bag that you can seal or even a container that you can seal and then i let the cat play with it for a while and then i tuck it back in and get traded out and it gets refreshed by the other catnip toys that are in there yeah so there you go I hope you liked the video. Bye now.